Have you ever wondered why so many people are turning to the carnivore diet to transform their health? Maybe you've seen others talk about it online, sharing their incredible results, losing fat, building muscle, and even overcoming chronic conditions. You might even be skeptical thinking, don't we need vegetables and fiber? But what if I told you that plants like Brussels sprouts contain hundreds of chemicals, some of which are actually harmful to your health? Ever notice how Brussels sprouts have a bitter taste? That's your body warning you. This isn't something you should be eating. It's a built-in defense mechanism. Today, let's dive into why the carnivore diet might be the key to optimal health, how it's rooted in our evolution and why people are seeing such profound results from it. You've probably noticed the increasing buzz about the carnivore diet. It's not just a passing trend. People are genuinely seeing life-changing transformations. What's even more remarkable is that they're not only shedding fat and building muscle, but improving their overall health. How often do you hear about a diet that can help with weight loss, autoimmune conditions, and mental health all at once? Hundreds of testimonials on websites like Rivera.com describe people who have turned their lives around by switching to an all-meat diet. We're talking about people healing autoimmune conditions, managing their depression, and shedding years of stubborn fat. Why is this happening? The carnivore diet is extremely anti-inflammatory. Most people don't realize how much inflammation certain foods, especially plants, can cause. Many plants contain chemicals and compounds that trigger inflammation and autoimmune responses in the body. When you cut out these inflammatory foods and focus on nutrient-dense animal products, your body has a chance to heal itself. The carnivore diet, in its purest form, eliminates foods that could be harming you without your knowledge. You might think the carnivore diet is some kind of fad that popped up in recent years, but it's actually rooted in human history. We've been eating mostly meat for millions of years. Stable isotope data from our ancestors' bones tells us that early humans had one of the highest carnivore ratings of any animal on Earth. The shift to plant-based foods didn't happen until about 10 to 12,000 years ago when we started farming. Think about that. For the vast majority of our existence, meat has been the foundation of our diet. You may have heard of the Inuit people or other indigenous groups who survived on almost entirely animal-based diets for generations. These cultures didn't suffer from the chronic illnesses we face today. Diabetes, heart disease, and autoimmune conditions were virtually non-existent. One anthropologist, Vilhelmur Stephenson, famously lived among the Inuit and adopted their way of eating. He ate nothing but fish, meat, and fat for over five years and he was healthier than ever. That's a powerful testament to the sustainability of an all-meat diet. A lot of people wonder how you can survive without fruits and vegetables on the carnivore diet. What about vitamin C, you might ask? Isn't it necessary to prevent scurvy? Yes, vitamin C is important, but here's the fascinating part. Your body's need for it changes when you're not consuming carbs. Vitamin C and carbohydrates compete for the same transporters into your cells. So, when you're on a low-carb or zero-carb diet, your need for vitamin C decreases dramatically. In fact, the tiny amounts of vitamin C found in fresh meat are more than enough to keep you healthy. It's one of the many misconceptions people have about the carnivore diet. Scurvy occurs when you're consuming a diet that's high in processed carbs and low in fresh whole foods, which is the opposite of a carnivore approach. So rest assured, you're not going to get scurvy on an all-meat diet. Now let's talk about what a typical day looks like on the carnivore diet. If you're just starting out, you might be wondering what your meals will look like. Personally, I keep things simple and straightforward. For lunch, I'll have a pound of ground beef with some beef tallow. Dinner might be two steaks with some salt, and I'll add water throughout the day. Sometimes I like to mix things up with sardines or egg yolks for extra variety and nutrition. What's important here is finding what works best for your body. Some people thrive on fattier cuts of meat like ribeye, while others prefer leaner meats but add extra fat like butter or tallow. The goal is to balance your fat and protein intake. A common mistake is eating too much protein without enough fat, which can leave you feeling sluggish or unsatisfied. Aim for a 1 to 1 ratio of fat to protein, which means about 60 to 80% of your calories should come from fat. This balance ensures you stay energized and satisfied throughout the day. When you first start the carnivore diet, tracking your food can help you get a feel for your macronutrient ratios. Using an app like MyFitnessPal can be a game changer, especially when you're learning how much fat and protein you need to hit your goals. But after a while you'll likely find that you don't need to track your intake as strictly. The diet naturally regulates your hunger hormones, so you eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. 
Another common question is, what about fiber? You've probably been told your whole life that fiber is essential for digestion, right? But here's the reality. Fiber is indigestible by humans, and it's not necessary for healthy digestion. In fact, studies have shown that a high-fiber diet can actually worsen constipation, while a zero-fiber diet can improve it. On the carnivore diet, your bowel movements might become less frequent and smaller in size, but that doesn't mean you're constipated. It's just that your body is absorbing more of the food you're eating, leaving less waste to expel. What about your gut microbiome? Isn't a diverse diet important for maintaining a healthy gut? Many people believe that to have a healthy microbiome, you need a variety of plant-based foods. However, studies on cultures like the Inuit show that, even without plant foods, their gut microbiomes were incredibly diverse and healthy. The reality is, the gut microbiome is so complex that we don't fully understand what an ideal one looks like yet. What we do know is that if you're experiencing digestive issues, it may not be from a lack of variety in your diet. It could be from other factors like processed foods, antibiotics, or autoimmune conditions. Now, let's get into one of the biggest hidden issues with plant-based foods, anti-nutrients. Plants, just like animals, have defense mechanisms to protect themselves from being eaten. Since they can't run away, they produce chemicals to deter predators. These chemicals, known as anti-nutrients, can interfere with your body's ability to absorb essential vitamins and minerals. For example, phytates found in grains and legumes can block the absorption of minerals like zinc and iron. Oxalates found in spinach and almonds can form crystals in your kidneys and lead to kidney stones. You might think that cooking or soaking your plant foods removes these toxins, but that's not always the case. Even with preparation, some anti-nutrients remain and can cause problems, especially for those with sensitive digestive systems or autoimmune conditions. Some people argue that consuming small amounts of plant toxins can create a beneficial stress on the body, a process called hormesis. The idea is that low doses of harmful substances can actually make you stronger, much like how exercise stresses your muscles, leading to growth. While this theory might hold true in some cases, the problem with plant toxins is that there are thousands of them, and we have no idea which ones are beneficial or in what amounts. Instead of relying on potentially harmful chemicals in plants, you might choose to induce hormesis through exercise or other natural stressors like cold exposure or fasting. The carnivore diet is one of the most nutrient-dense ways of eating. Meat is packed with essential vitamins, minerals, and compounds that your body needs to thrive. For example, creatine is a substance found in red meat that has been shown to improve strength, endurance, and even mental clarity. Most people take creatine as a supplement, but on the carnivore diet, you can get the optimal amount, 3 to 5 grams a day, just by eating a couple of pounds of red meat. Additionally, meat provides highly bioavailable forms of nutrients like iron, zinc, and B vitamins, which are much easier for your body to absorb compared to plant-based sources. This means that not only are you getting more nutrients, but your body is actually using them more efficiently. The beauty of the carnivore diet is that it's the ultimate elimination diet. By cutting out all processed foods and plant toxins, you give your body the chance to reset and heal. For many people, this is the key to solving long-standing health issues. It simplifies your diet, making it easy to know exactly what's going into your body and how it's affecting you. So, what do you think? Could the carnivore diet be the solution you've been looking for? If you're already trying it or curious about starting, drop a comment below. Let's discuss your experience. Whether you've noticed changes in your health, fitness, or overall well-being, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more tips on health, wellness, and nutrition. Join the conversation, and let's build a community of people committed to optimizing their health together.